what's up everybody um just making a video for you guys on on eos and the market and if your screen is fucked or weird like uh dimension this is because i don't have my uh, big screen uh, set up i just have my laptop and it's like a wide screen so yeah let's just get into it first we got to get the bitcoin so just to kind of retrace uh everything that's happened with uh bitcoin in the last what is it two weeks um we we uh Okay, so we had this squeeze out here. Um, we were basically on the. Let me show you guys something. Yeah. Okay. So I had this yellow, these yellow lines. This was the long trend line that. Back when we first hit 2,000 and 3,000, and we kind of dropped to 1,800 before Segwit, and this line kind of held us for an all-time high, all-time high, until we sold down to um, the China FUD. We came and we started to build this ascending triangle out here, and we broke out of it. We came back, kind of tested the line again. And uh, we were able to push back up, and then we took off in the foam over. Now, uh, this bottom line kind of caught us here, and it really held itself here. And uh, a lot of people thought it was going to break this down. I did, too. Um, honestly, when the price was trading up here and it started to fall, my, my, my play was to go long here. However, I just really got caught up in the sentiment of the market, and I thought we were finally going to break it. And we had this move up here, and uh, I lost some money here, and I lost being able to get into a good position here. And uh, the whales pumped the price up. And now we basically went to the top of this line again, and we sold down. And now we're kind of ranging out here. And we pushed out of this cloud, and now we're getting a bit of a pullback. But I think we might go to 91-ish and hold it. Or uh, what I'm really looking for here is, is how this weekly candle closes. So far, it looks good. Um, however, let me hide some of these drugs. looks good now uh, but if we sell down um, lower we can get kind of a bearish weekly uh, similar to something like this and it might bring us down a little bit more we might continue up but yeah I just want to just go into what it's kind of doing right now Change intervals to forty. And okay, so when we pushed up here, we had this rising wedge. We faked everybody out and we sold down. And uh, we we. Uh, Using the using the laptop uh, touchpad, and yeah, we we sold down here, made a move up, and I showed you guys this before, and people in my group know this, that this if you want to short, a lot of times you you wait for the sell off, and then when you get into this fib zone, 
786818 area. This is where you want to kind of sell your coins. You don't really want to like sell your coins out of fear here. You want to wait for this move up here to sell your coins. Uh, and it came up here and it tried to push through, but it kept getting sold down. And now it's getting, uh, now it's in this limbo of, of trying to push above. But if you zoom in a little bit more, we are kind of rejecting this area now. You see the wicks. But uh, it's kind of a fight out here, and it might pop itself out. Or we could sell down to maybe around 91 area or so. But uh, it's also possible that from here, we can get a move down to this area here, 96. 96 and even 84. Uh, I've been looking for 84 to put some money back in the market but if we if this is going to be an a b it a b c and then uh push off this week i would like to see that a lot so we can put some more money back in the market and what is that meaning for eos well eos we had a big sell off last night uh, i really played my position but i made, made a shitload of money on margin but uh, the greed got to me and uh, I didn't walk away with it as much as I had last night but we had similar volume on the 15 minute back here but I want to look at this from a higher time frame so I can get a better gauge of the volume because all this basically happened in the last six hours. Uh, we oversold this wick here. So this wick had, uh, let's do some measurements, had a 75% drop. So if the same is going to be happening here, No. No, I don't see that happening. That was uh that was a kind of a freak flash crash. I remember that. But if it was to oh it would be yeah, it would be this five dollars and ninety five cent area. Which is pretty crazy. But yeah, I don't see that happening to be honest. We'll see that happen to be honest but it's kind of similar volume vertical volume profile where you have a big injection big injection and then some follow through at the in the middle and then a sell off there but <coughs> This thing just kind of went batshit crazy. And if that was the top, we may have gotten uh, a weight structure like that. So one thing I was keeping notice on with uh, EOS is is I kind of drew this trend line here and obviously like this is just me playing around with scenarios this is not hard facts or whatnot but you know you draw this top this top and this top then even if you draw this first wave top for this channel it kind of coincides around 60 bucks 55 bucks um, the market cap of 
crypto would have to really really pump for it to get there but I'm gonna keep keep this in mind for the long run because if you look at Ethereum USD, and I'm using Poloniex because they have the most kind of volume for this time. There's this kind of same structure and uh, I don't know if I can pull this off here but if you compare the two on a log uh, there are some sim similarities so far you have the sell down the sell down then the move up the move up then the sideways chop sideways chop and then it really starts to pump. And I think we are around here. Around here right now. And I'm thinking we could probably sell below. I think we could maybe sell to 15 or 16 on a very uh, aggressive draw from here. But. It would all depend on what happens with Bitcoin. Uh, but if you zoom in, so keep keep in mind that like right now we basically popped out the top, and we might open another daily and wick down, and create some kind of a, maybe a tweezer formation. And if you look at So there's like kind of the double top here at 2200, 2400. If we were to zoom in here, this is the area. So hit 21. We hit like $23. And then we had about $5 drop from here. And it was one, two, three, four, five, six days before the drop. And then we continued on up. So keep your uh, eye on that if that's how it's going to play out. As you can see here, minor handle. But even though we didn't get a clear double top here, um, just, you know, we topped out at $18, $19. Over here, $23. Uh, it's kind of close on a big picture. But. You can see a lot of similarities in these fractals. Um, got one, two, three points. One, two, three points. Have this impulse, this curve here, and then this sharp move up. So yeah, just keep an eye on today. I'm just gonna be setting alerts on Bitcoin. I'm not gonna take any trades. Excuse me, um, until this, until this weekly, more or less, uh, I didn't sell any of my EOS coins. I closed a margin position, um, and I'm just kind of seeing a lot of resistance right now with Bitcoin. So yeah, that's it, guys. Um, just quick, quick one on alts. Uh, Ada had a good run yesterday. I'm expecting a pullback with the market as well. Um, I'm also looking at NXT because it's the last of the U.S. tether pairs that kind of hasn't had a real pump. It kind of did double here, but uh, this thing could go a lot, a lot higher. Now, this is a previous top, and it usually follows this formation where it hits a huge high, it's sold all the way down, 
hits a high, it gets sold all the way down. Hits a high, it gets sold all the way down. Hits a high, it gets sold all the way down. So uh, I'm keeping my eye on this. Uh, I'm not sure if this thing can sell down even more first, maybe to here, and then take off. But there is massive, massive, massive reward on this one. So, yeah, that's, I don't care about too much about what alt is. I just care about sometimes the fundamental news that's coming up. They have launches, airdrops, things that really get the market bullish. And then I take a position there as well. Let's see how that goes. So... That was that, and just the update on Tron. Tron is looking really good. Um, we gotta look at Tron on Binance. Yeah, so this thing is curving out nicely, really nicely. And they have something on the thirty-first, so this looks good as well. And one thing to keep in mind also is that the last time. Um, EOS really pumped in December. Mm -hmm. EOS pumped in December. Was, uh, no so, IOTA took off too, really hard around November, December. And it went up to about five dollars and what i remember was that when iota pumps it's usually followed by an eos pump that's how it was in december now i'm not saying it's going to happen again but keep your mind on it and you might want to take profits from eos um, and start to maybe start building an iota position because if they are being if, if that's how it's going to be again where eos kind of consolidates at a high range you know it might consolidate i don't know under 30 dollars and profits start to get taken and moved into iota right because that's what whales do they rotate their money into different points they don't just hold it and sit in the circle jerk chat rooms and hope and cheerlead its way to new all-time highs they trade with a plan if that is the case then uh you want to start to move take profits in eos and start building an iota position uh, that's what i'm going to be looking to do if it starts because if it does then you know if you made you know 10x on eos now you can go and put it in here and if this thing makes a new structure because that's basically in some ways <laughs> this is really possible <laughs> you know this thing goes to ten dollars twelve dollars Get this down. Yeah, if we if we can push out and then maybe hit some of this target here between nine to twelve, that would be huge for you guys. So keep your eye on that. They run. They don't run. They they were kind of running. They weren't running at the same time last time. And I always remember that, and I'm going to follow up on that. But so far pre-pump volume i'm not really seeing it uh some of the technicals the one day looks like we have its reset um, we have above the cloud maybe we can get a pullback to 160 170 and uh, let's see if there's any Weekly is uh, looking good. This thing can push. This thing can push for sure. So yeah, if you want to 
do something with your EOS profits, uh, this might be a good position. And uh, yeah, that pretty much does it. Uh, whole market looks good as a whole. But uh, I'm really, once again, I'm really looking for, uh, let me just go back, tell you guys what I'm looking at. I'm really looking for that, that FIB zone area. The 618 and 718, you draw it here, and then I'm looking for a clear of that and a test of that. And then from there, we can probably push through this line. And if we push over this yellow line, it's really, 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 really a, a good sign. Unless it's just another fucking bull trap, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend, and I hope you guys make a lot of money and kill it this week. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace.